Hello and welcome to 5 minutes about ADHD and autism. My name is Vibeke and uh, I will um, use the next 5 minutes to talk about uh, the sexuality uh, with kids for kids with ADHD or and autism. I am a, a mother to three, three boys and um, I'm, uh, I'm a teacher to lots of boys with ADHD and autism or I have been uh, through many years. Uh, so almost all my experience is with boys sorry girls and i don't know if this is st statistic correct but it's my um experience so far what i'm going to share now um boys with autism or adhd uh, often enters the puberty later than the other boys uh, in the classroom um and that gives them uh, they easily have this feeling about being wrong because um, when the other boys say oh I want to kiss that girl this boy with autism say oh I don't want to kiss anybody ever it's disgusting and um, and maybe the other boys is um, is uh, kissing in the in the classroom and, and these boys with autism or ADHD is almost growing up because having another another human being in your mouth is the most disgusting thing um, and then they have this feeling I'm wrong and maybe they um, they they try with porno to see am I a man can I have a uh, does it work down there or anywhere in my head um, or, or what am I totally uh, is this body totally wrong or is this body maybe homosexual uh, maybe um, at boys, I making experience with other boys, uh, and they might have some kind of sex together because that is safe. Um, and actually, lots of teenagers try this, uh, girls and boys. But but many boys with ADHD and autism does it because they think they are wrong. But actually, they should just wait, maybe two years more. Than the other boys and then they will be ready to be kissing and be hugging and them um, and all that stuff so I, I would just want to share with you out there that you're not wrong you just need a few more years for your brain to be ready to that um, and it is not because um, because your brain ain't working because if it might be a um, math uh, something in math or something with them um, face it then you can easily find out what the solution is while the other boys might sit and say what I don't know I don't understand but that then some somewhere your brain might be fast and somewhere your brain needs more time and that is often on all social matters actually there is more than just um, the feeling and the 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 sexuality in your body who might take longer time the the art to have a discussion or to talk with another um, is a thing you might be uh, needing to learn the hard way because um, if a friend come to me and say oh I've had such a bad day and I just say oh me too I had a bad day too I want to tell you about it, blah 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 then this friend of mine will be left with a feeling that okay she only want to talk she didn't want to listen to my bad day I never I never came to that point where, where she asked what have you experienced and that is a handicap in the conversation for many kids with autism and ADHD autism because it is hard to, to remember what is happening in her brain or his brain and with the person with ADHD it goes so fast that, that there are no time to uh, to reflect oh you were saying that you were having a bad day what happened to you they just oh me too me too because the brain is working so fast and all this stuff before you have a relationship with a, a, a boyfriend a girlfriend you you need to learn this these things because your your girlfriend or your boyfriend won't be a boyfriend or girlfriend for a very long time if you don't learn to conversate, learn the conversation. Um, so there are many things in this, which is 
special, especially difficult with persons with ADHD and autism. But many, many of these boys I have had as a teacher, they have grown up today. I've been a teacher for 13 years, um, for big boys too. And they are having good relationships, nice girlfriends, and, and it works for them. They just need it one, two, maybe three more years than the others. So I just want to tell you out there, you're not wrong if you are not ready to kiss when you're 15. It might, it might take a little longer for you, but you're not wrong. That's just a warning.